Hello, I'm Tom Bailey, and in today's episode, I'll be getting to know Brent Lowe, who is a performance coach helping leaders to show up as their best selves within thriving, purpose-driven teams. So Brent, hello, and a very warm welcome to today's episode. Hey, Tom, great to be here. Thanks for the invite. I really appreciate it. And whereabouts are you in the world right now? I am in Toronto, Canada. Fantastic. Thank you so much. And I'm just going to share a little bit more about Brent before we do get started. So... As the scale coach for founder CEOs, Brent works with entrepreneurs and leaders who are growing the size and impact of their businesses to tackle both local and global challenges. He helps them lead in a way that feels authentic, inspiring, and personally fulfilling. The title for today's episode is How to be Bold, Brave, and Intentional in Scaling Your Business. And Brent's going to show us how to do that in just under seven minutes. So question number one today is, who are your ideal clients? So we work with founder CEOs of companies that are between five and 40 people, and they're experiencing early stage success, ready to scale. Okay, makes sense. And what do you find is typically the biggest challenge that they typically face? When those founders reach out, there's generally one of three things that they talk about, or maybe all three things. The first is burnout. So this sense of as an entrepreneur, there's more and more falling on my shoulders and I am just exhausted uh, by that. Um, The second is a culture of underperformance. So when the group is very small, uh, we tend to know how to work in that way as a leader. for entrepreneurs who are really starting to grow their business for the first time, they are they, they start to um, hit a bit of a wall in how do how do I spread what I do to a much bigger group? And sometimes that doesn't work so well. So we, we get some underperformance. And the third, which is harder for people to talk about often, is doubt. So this this sense of I think I know how to be an entrepreneur, but do I know how to be an entrepreneur who's now being called to be a leader? Yeah. And uh, and that difference. So burnout, underperformance and doubt. Sounds like a a bad cocktail of challenges for these um, ideal clients of yours. So given these challenges, obviously, um, you know, quite, quite complex, what impact does that typically have on either them or their business? So for the individuals, it does lead to that sense of burnout, fatigue, uh, Mm -hmm. questioning whether this is really what they want to be doing. Uh, From the business side, it's just that stalled growth. So there's an opportunity. The business is starting to grow. You can see the potential. And then we just start, rather than accelerating, it starts to get slower. And so the business is just not having the impact uh, that it, it could have in the world. Got it. So if anybody's listening to this message and they're starting to connect with this, what's one piece of advice you might give them to really start off in the right way on this journey? Mm -hmm. So we talk about the five C's of scaling together. So the first one is clarity. So make sure that there is good enough clarity for the team around purpose and shared values and strategy and how decisions get made. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's not perfection, but enough that people can really uh, step into that. The second is communication. And as a group gets bigger, so if you think about uh, drawing, a, having a, a piece of paper and putting two dots, there's one line, and then you put three dots, there's three lines, then four dots, five, six, seven, eight, and you start connecting all of those, very soon it becomes complicated. And so that the need for more and more communication both uh, across the team, but also uh, an opportunity to collect feedback, uh, those feedback loops. Um, The third is commitments and accountabilities, making sure everybody knows who is doing what, and at at least at uh, a a fundamental level. Um, Sounds simple, uh, but it very quickly uh, can can, uh, get a little hard to know who exactly is doing what. Um, The fourth C is cadence. So how do we start to build a bit of a predictable heartbeat into the business Mm -hmm. so everybody knows uh, what, uh, how how things are working and and they can predict what the next step is. And then the last is what we call constant constellation, which is uh, really the people part. So how exactly are we hiring people in? How are we onboarding people? And if necessary, how are we exiting people? What's our philosophy on that? So clarity, communication, commitments, cadence, and constellation. Fantastic. That's great advice and lots to take on there. And is this 
something that they can access as a resource? Do you have anything that's available for these entrepreneurs if they really do want to find out more and get started on this journey? Absolutely. So if they go to our website, which is uh, base, B-A-S-E, associates.com, mm-hmm. baseassociates.com. Um, there you can uh, uh, pick up a document that includes uh, five principles for scaling your business and the six leadership roles nice. that come with scaling a sustainable business. Okay, incredible. So that's baseassociates.com. What I'll do is I'll put that link into the show notes below this episode so people can click that and dive right in and get access to that. Um, resource. Awesome. So just moving on slightly to a separate topic, which is yourself. What would you say is one of the greatest mistakes or failures that you've ever made either in life or business? And what result did it have? Or what did you learn? So if I complete a behavioral profile, it consistently comes back with the same profile uh, definition, which is strict perfectionist. Yep. And so in my early days, when I was working, I, I first was a founder, then I went and worked for founders. And when I was working for founders, I was really doubling down on my perfectionism right. and trying to, to nail everything. Mm-hmm. And what that led to is, uh, you know, a lot of what I was talking about earlier, yeah. the underperformance of the business, because yeah. when we're scaling, we do not need perfection. We need progress. Mm-hmm. And um, so in my own, both in my own businesses early on and working for founders, there were just numerous times where I was hitting a wall uh, because I was trying to get everything perfect and I was burning out as a result yeah. uh, of that. And, and so I now have, um, I, I draw on a lot of personal lessons in my, my work for sure. Yeah. And, that, and that's a great lesson, which you obviously learned the hard way. Um, but you know, that's really valuable for people that you work with now, I'm sure going forward. And the last question from me today is what is one question that I should have asked you that will also bring some great value to our audience today? I love that prompt. So (laughs) the question that I would say is what's the biggest decision that founders make when scaling their companies that they don't realize they're making that's having a really big impact Mm -hmm. and what, what could they do instead? Um, And the answer to that question is as we grow, we, every organization starts very nimble. So if you and I, Tom, decide we want to start a business together, yep. we'd sit around a, a, a coffee table probably and, and make some decisions. Yeah. And then at some point, the company would start to grow. And then someone would come along and say, you're at a point where you need managers. Mm-hmm. You need to start building out the hierarchy of the business. Yeah. And that's where most businesses go. The reality is that we are moving to a world where hierarchy is becoming uh, kind of old school Mm -hmm. and doesn't really fit the dynamic of how the workplace is is working. And there are new, different, better ways to think about your business that doesn't bring in this hierarchy and and such. And um, most founders just aren't aware that there are other options. It's like everybody builds a hierarchy. I guess that's what I do. And uh, in fact, there are, there are a lot of uh, other options. And again, in that document that uh, people could pick up on my website, uh, it shares some of the alternatives. Interesting. Thank you so much. And it's really interesting to think about that hierarchy. You think of the pyramid, don't you, you know, top down. Yeah. Um, but it's really interesting to think there are other models out there. And it'd be great to find out more about that uh, through your website. Okay, so Brent, thank you so much again for your time today. I really appreciate you coming along and for sharing such great expertise with our audience. My pleasure, Tom. Really appreciate it.